The next list operation we're going to talk about is the in operator. The in operator will let you know if an element is present in a list. So you might have the user enter in a number, or think about the hangman game, they're going to enter in a letter, and you want to know if that particular value is in the list. So here's the structure of it using the in operator. You start with the word if, the value that you want to search for, and the list that you are searching in. So if 5 in original, and one thing you could do is print, but just like any if statement, you can do pretty much any kind of statement right here. So print is one example. Here's another example because I can have variables here. So if num, it could be a random number, or it could be a number that the user entered, is in my list, then maybe I want to append it to a different list. Because it was there. And often you want to know more than, uh, than just if the value is in the list. You might want to know where it is, because I might need to remove it, or move it, or something like that. So I can use the in operator just to know, is it there? And do something with it. I can also use something called the index method. So in is an operator and I can use an index method. Let's take a look at that. This is a method so remember it's going to use dot notation. It's going to return the index of the element. So here's an example. So first I'm going to check to see if it's in there. If num is in my list I can use the index method right here and it's going to return the position of where that number was found. If this number is in my list more than once, it's only going to return the first time that it finds it. If you use the index method when an element isn't in the list, you will get a runtime error. So you should always use the in method or the in operator to avoid uh, an, an error. So here's how you can do that. First I'm going to check to see if the number is in the list and if it is, I can find out the index, and if it's not, I might set the index to some kind of value, like a negative number, I, not zero because zero is a valid index, but I can set it to some kind of value where I could use this later in my code, so if it's not in there, I don't try and use it if, if it, um, like it is, okay, and get that error. So I'm just throwing a whole bunch of code at you here, but using the index method is great, but you do have to be careful because if you use it, like an out of range error, you, it will stop your program. Let's try using the in operator with the index method in our list operation uh, program. 